All right guys, so we rolled into Salt Lake City last night and uh, basically just grabbed some pizza and made it to the hotel and not a whole lot of anything crazy happened. So now it's around six in the morning. We are packing up the truck and we're gonna go ahead and head towards the scenic skyline trail, which it looks like it's gonna be awesome from what we saw on camera and some other like videos and things we looked up. But we're gonna take the truck out there Hopefully fly the drone around, you know, do a little bit more suspension testing, some more wheel tire stuff, and uh, it should be a really good time. So we will check back in once we get to the trailhead. Alright, so we made it out onto the Skyline Trail now, and it has a heck of a view. You can see Salt Lake City out there, and then the actual Salt Lake itself. Uh, and kind of like the marshlands up closer here to us and the lake farther out. And then obviously we're along the actual road here, which kind of runs along this cliff edge. Cliff is maybe an exaggeration, but very steep hill along the side of the mountain. So we're going to go kind of up and over and just get a feel for where we're at. We're hoping to shoot some drone footage right now that should look really cool. You know, good dramatic view coming into the truck. And uh, then eventually we will end up in Farmington if everything goes to plan. So we just wrapped up Skyline Trail. We ended up going pretty much all the way to the top before you cross over the mountains and then kind of flipped back and came down. And uh, it's been awesome. That was pretty much our last trail right now for this truck on our Utah trip with the KM3s, but they performed perfectly. We have no complaints as far as off-road and highway stuff was concerned. They really do the job well. So now uh, me and the uh, other video guys are gonna kind of part ways. We'll grab lunch and then I'm gonna head to my hotel start the training tomorrow, which should be awesome, and they're gonna run with the truck way on back to Phoenix. Well, it is officially Thursday morning, which means it's time to kick off this BFG training event. And I'm gonna be heading down to the little hotel restaurant right now. We're gonna have breakfast, everybody's gonna meet up. They're gonna give us sort of the lay of the land for the day, what it's gonna look like. And then once we wrap that up, we're gonna hop on a bus, head out to the actual training facility and just go nuts from there. I'm gonna try and grab as much little bits of footage or pictures or whatever I can get to show you guys. We'll see what the day turns out to be, but it's, Pretty exciting. I'm stoked to go give it a shot and hopefully get to drive some cool trucks because that's always the goal. So we're out here right now. It's uh, the Ford Performance Racing School, which I didn't even realize that there was actually a tie-in to Ford specifically here, but they actually do a bunch of training with uh, Mustangs and Focuses, the STs, RS, a bunch of different stuff. So the uh, the track is out that way. They've got a couple different runs they do, but essentially there's a little bit of a miscommunication between those of us who showed up for the course in Michelin uh, slash BFG, they're the same. And this is actually all street tires, UHP ultra high performance, and not about the KM3 or the off-road stuff. So it does change the plans a little bit, but I'm gonna still try and grab some content and show you guys what's going on. We've already had a chance to run around the Mustangs a little bit, and as you can see, I mean, they do, they do Raptor and everything as well, uh, but we're just not gonna be focusing on that over these two days. But like I said, I'll show you guys what's going on, and hopefully it's something cool to watch.
So we are back in the shop in Arizona, and as you guys saw, things didn't go exactly to plan uh, in Salt Lake City. Unfortunately, that was a little bit of a miscommunication on BFG's part and talking to us. Uh, so we ended up doing ultra high performance and kind of running around and testing stuff on Mustangs and Focuses, which was fun. But for those of you guys who were really interested in finding out more about the KM3, thankfully we did have it installed on our 2018 and we did review and test it on the whole way there. We spent like three days road tripping with that tire and driving it on road and off road. So if you do want to check that out, we'll put a link in here so you can watch the full review and hear all my thoughts on running with that tire. And as always guys, thank you for watching.